I am back again. So Alex asked me to mention this story about how I met the guy that I'm currently getting to know. And this is a note to everybody. I don't care if you're gay, straight, transgender, batshit crazy, or whatever. There comes a point where you have to get to know people. That is a requirement. Not everybody is worthy of your time and attention. And I will give you the best example there is. I live in a community that unfortunately there are some people that think they can approach a woman any kind of way. No. Why do you think such things as Michael Kors, Gucci, Prada, you know, Steve Madden, all these other name brands are very expensive? Because they know their value and they're not going to be so cheap. Now, you may have a bunch of imitators. You may have a lot of um, bootlegs, fakes, whatever you want to call it. So this one individual comes up and says, oh, you don't, you don't go out a lot. How do you know? Oh, I don't see you around here. Just because I'm not around here doesn't mean I don't go out. Oh, well, where your man at? At work. Where's your woman or your baby mama at? Oh, she? See? It's very easy. When you just ask a basic question, some people unknowingly in their pursuit of what they want give up more than what they should. Now, I've been called thick as a snicker. <laughs> Yes, I got boobs. Thanks. <laughs> I've had them since the age of 12. And some people may have had their appendages longer. However, there comes a point in time where just because I have it don't mean you're entitled to it. It doesn't mean you're good enough for it. So at some point, not everybody can be invited to the party. There's a difference between royalty and peasants. And trust me, the minute a person, man, woman, no matter who they are, opens their mouth and they show themselves to be a peasant, you know where to put them. That is the difference between knowing your worth and settling for anything. And baby, as good as I am, I don't settle for anything. Or just anyone. And neither should you. Bye, boo. Hey, where do punks fit in with that? Punks, I mean, punks would fit in anywhere with that. Because I think punks are unique enough to, uh, to where it would take a person with complete understanding and respect to get past all that exterior. That's a lot of exterior. Who is that person? Because you can have somebody that is about as, you know, edgy as Eminem or Drake or Lil Wayne, all tatted up to here, all may have dealt with the life out here that that most people in the hip hop community as of the last decade claim to be like. I came from the decade where the shit started, where it started with a bullet, then it went to popularity. Here they're doing the reverse. See, it started when it was gritty and grimy and dirty and it wasn't all suit and tie. And I don't believe there's a difference with that. Like, there is no difference with punk. It's an exterior. It's what you live in that moment. Because we all evolve. We all grow up. We, we all become who we want to become. And whether if that's a punk that's in their 50s and still doing it. I mean, think about it. Debbie, Debbie Harry is your best example of the embodiment of who she is. She's always going to be blondie. But she's also Debbie Harry. So there's a difference between that part of life that you participate in and who you are to which you evolve and exist in. And that is universal. And there's no difference. So outside of that, you still have to get to know people because not everybody's always out for your good. There's always two rules in life my cousin Don has taught me. Rule number one, Always look out for number one and put God in front. And number two is never forget rule number one. And the rest of the rules follow as you go along in this life. So when you grow and evolve to be whoever you want to be in the world, because we always got to be something that we don't really feel comfortable with existing or we're okay with while we find our way and evolve. But who we are at the core from our birth, our heart, our soul, however we connect. We never forget that. We never ever.
whether it be punk, whether it be preppy, whether it be hip hop, whether it be batshit confused, it don't make a difference. Whoever you are at this point in life, there is always an, an evolution because we always get better. We like to think we don't, but we do. Never forget where you begin because there's always a way back there for you to get better. Bye, boo. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>